Hey everyone, it's Jess again. Today we are going to look at the villagers in the crop out game. First we're going to play and kind of just get a look at them. The way this game works is you're basically like getting these guys and you know telling them to harvest resources to help grow their little community. You can click and drag to where you want them to go to tell them uh, what you need. Let's just click and get them to chop wood. And so there's a lot of different little animations. They're carrying stuff. They're walking around chopping. Um, I'm sure the deeper we go into this game, the more that they do. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to hit F8 on the keyboard. And that allows the game to still run. But um, you can kind of... Uh, ignore the camera settings and you can look around where you want to look and you can also click on actors and select them that way you can uh, see more about them so I'm gonna click this villager and you can see over here he does have a blueprint attached to him so I'm gonna edit blueprint and see what we've got here so as you can see there's uh, some functions and graphs up here uh, the event graph is normally the main one you're going to want to look at. Um, this will show you a lot about what is going on with this blueprint or actor or character. Here is an area that shows that it's to do with animations, and so that's going to be a good sign. We see that it obviously is pulling from animations, but I'm not seeing a way to access the animations here, and so what we're going to do Sometimes, sometimes there's references in here. Uh, I'm gonna stop that so we can click on things here. This is playing a montage, and so really what a montage is, it grabs several animations. And so I'm gonna go back into this main tab here. We're gonna go into the content drawer, see what's in characters. Uh, okay, and then there's animations, and so yeah, here you can see all of their different little movements, and you can just click on one. It'll just constantly play. You can pause it. It'll actually bring up this menu for the animations, and it shows you every animation associated with, I guess, the this mesh or the skeleton. I'm not an animator. I don't know the terms here, but you can just double-click any of these to watch the different ones. Not sure why he's got a box in all of these, but that's okay. He's farming with his crate here. A good thing to do is, if you can screen record, let this play through a few times. Uh, then you can drag the clip into your doll and add the sound to it, and then you can um, you could bring it in as one event, or you can have it like. You can have a multi-instrument where it will randomize a sound each of these times. There's lots of ways to do it, but anyways, bringing the animation into your doll is a great way to sync things up and make sure you're happy with the way it matches with the visuals. So we're going to just start by taking a look at um, the walking sound. Let's get their footsteps in before we do anything else. So I'm just going to double click to bring that up. There's these things called notify tracks here. Um, there are already sounds, but what we're going to do is we're just going to make a new track. We'll name this one F mod audio. Um, this one could be used as a good guide for our placement on our timing of our sounds. First, we're going to go over to our F mod project. I'm going to make a new folder. We're just going to name this one character. I'm going to make a new event uh, and call it Footsteps. Footsteps. And I already have some footsteps made that I'm going to drag in as a multi-instrument. That way, every time he steps, it'll play a different one. We're going to go ahead and randomize the pitch to give a little bit more variation here. It's just a basic grassy footstep. Okay, I'm gonna save and build. Let's go back into Unreal. Now what we can do is on this F1 audio anim track, we can add a notify 
like this. It says F my play event. And then you can select your footsteps right here. And I'm going to just go ahead and copy and paste that here. Now this guy we can remove. Oh, I guess you have to delete these before it will let you remove them. There we go. And now we can see how different it is. Cool. Okay, so it's working. I don't necessarily love the footsteps. I'm probably going to kind of just shorten them. Seems like there's a little bit too much foliage there at the end. Yeah, let's try that. It takes a minute for the banks to reload. Okay, there it is. Yeah, that's much better. So we're just going to save that and let's go back. Oh, I definitely forgot something. We need a spatializer on this. I'm going to start this. Okay, yeah, we definitely need that spatializer and we know from the previous video that um, this distance thing is going to be different due to the fact you can zoom in and out. This is going to be a little unique. Okay, and if you're wondering why their footsteps aren't playing while they're carrying the box like that, it's because that's its own separate animation and we didn't work in that animation, we just worked in the walk one. We're just going to make these a little less intense. Yeah, that sounds nice. Now we're going to play and listen to this with our ambience and seagulls. It's just nice soft little footsteps. Let's... Can you walk over here for me? <laughs> Definitely seagulls quieter, footsteps louder. Turn down the probability of these seagulls. We don't want to be hearing them that often. Right here in the trigger behavior. So, so maybe 60. Turn them down even more. like a good balance for now until we get more things going on in here. And so back to the animations. Um, now you have this whole list of animations that you can make sounds for. It's all the same process of what I showed you for the walk. You can make as many of these tracks as you want and you can add as many different F1 events in here as you want. Like if you want to, uh, for example, maybe you want to put footsteps in there and a box breaking. Uh, yeah, you can just do whatever you want here, and all of these are probably like a sequence that appears to be like combining, like here's the mining and the particle effect. And so, uh, yeah, these green ones that say A underscore whatever, that is going to be your animation. Um, you can make sounds to all of these, and that's really going to fill things out for the character. Anyways, that's going to be it for today, and thank you again for watching.